welcome to another video. So today we are at Martin Mir uh, Wildfowl and Wetland Centre. So obviously I went to Slimbridge a few weeks ago, quite a few videos ago now, and um, now we're at Martin Mir. So we'll see what we can see today. I'm expecting waders, marsh areas perhaps, um, many other birds of prey. Um, warblers, I'm going to expect as well, a lot of sedge warblers and reed warblers because of the, the amount of reeds here at uh, Martin Mere and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoy the video, let's see what we see. I'm in the reed bed section now, so doing the reed bed walk. There's a lot of sedge warblers and reed warblers about, and they're not impossible to actually uh, take a photo of. So um, earlier we were actually at the Ron Barker Hoyd, which is um, on the other side of the wetland centre, and um, didn't manage to get a piece to camera, so I'll stick it in now. Really, um, there was actually a stoat turned up briefly. Um, I didn't manage to get a photo, but um, it's nice to see a stoat and. Um, also a water vole. I managed to get a bit of footage of, so I'll stick that on the on the um, screen for you now. But um, yeah, quite a few things in the hide really. Uh, a lot of action going on. A lot of egrets. There's cattle egrets, great egrets, and uh, little egrets. So it's amazing how quick the little egrets um, have recovered in this country after a lot of work being done around them. But now we've got great white egrets and cattle egrets that seem to have just absolutely have. Um, come out of nowhere really the last few years and the numbers you just see them everywhere now so so yeah I've got quite a bit of uh, footage to show you from that hide so I'll stick that on for you now Now while walking around the reed bed walk, I've seen a lot of sedge warblers. The reed warblers are really elusive and the set is even more so, but I have managed to get the odd shot of a sedge, a sedge warbler and a bit of video footage between the reeds as and when I've had a chance. Um, it's not mega close, but it's it's close enough really. And um, yeah, so some good images, so I'll, um, I'll show you those now. So we've also had a little visit at the, uh, the Hale Hyde, which is quite close to when you first get into the centre. And um, there's a lot of action there. There's a lot of ducks, shell ducks especially, mallards obviously. And um, there's still Buick swans there. And also um, there were some black-tailed godwits. So I'll, um, I'll show them because they were really, 
really close, not bothered, there was three of them and they were just happy to just um, do a bit of feeding and they were doing a bit of sleeping so I've got uh, quite a few photos of them because the, the, um, the, the views of them were really good so it's such a good hide for that for that really so I haven't been that close to be honest to those uh, godwits so it was nice to see nice to get some good shots so I'll stick them on I mean the weather at the moment is uh, it was a bit dark to begin with but now it's just turned right round and it's quite a bit of sun but it's not too harsh and even when it goes in the clouds are kind of just diffusing that light quite nicely to make it quite soft so um, so yeah there's a quite a few hides with uh, feeders around as well at this place so it's very good for um, getting images of just like chaffinches and green finches and gold finches and things like that so so there's many many a hide you can visit just for the the garden birds so to speak and um, yeah really good to see as well especially the green finches Typical. One thing I will say is the cafe is expensive, so bring your wallet. Also, we did walk to, just before you get to the reed beds, there is a, um, a section, well, a hide actually, I say a section, looking over the reed beds, um, called the Harrier Hide, um, and I'll show you a video of me walking up to that. And, uh, but unfortunately, because of the water level, and we've had that much rain, you can probably see behind me, the water level's that high, there's no areas for the um, waders to, um, to feed on or anything like that, so the, there's no waders actually on this area where normally you would have you would have waders all dotted around the the reed bed, but there isn't any really. It's just ducks and geese swimming on the um, on the lake and and the warblers in the in the reed beds and things. So so yeah, we've kind of not really spent much time in there. Right, so thanks for joining me today. I think we're about to leave. Spent quite a few hours here now, and uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.